Hi everybody and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very basic royal icing recipe, ever so simple to make. Uh, it's great for icing over cookies and cakes. Uh, it sets hard and um, we've got, you can see over my shoulder there, a pumpkin. We've got Halloween coming up and I'll be using this icing for decorating the tops of cookies and uh, maybe a few other things. So I'll put my subscription button down here. This will be in the kitchen basic section but there's loads of other recipes there. Stay in touch. Here's how you make royal icing. First of all, let's take one egg white into a bowl. I've just broke the egg and I'm going to tip the yolk from side to side. This is the best way I can find for, for getting the egg whites out. And then we can pop the egg yolk aside. And I'm going to take two cups or 250 grams of icing sugar. I'm just sifting that through. I'm not putting it all in at the moment. I'm going to keep about a third back for later. So sift that in, get all the lumps out, ideally. And then once it's all into the bowl, I'm just going to uh, put the third aside and take a whisk and start mixing that through. Now, it will start to ball together and become quite thick. And there come a point where the whisk is going to be no use at all because it really is uh, too thick like that. Now it's starting to get uh, pretty firm. So at this point, I'll take a wooden spoon. I'll just uh, get the bits off the whisk and start to mix it through with a wooden spoon. We're just creaming together. And it's almost like a very thick cream, but you can see it's, it's too thin for icing at the moment. Um, so I'm going to add about half of what I've got left of the icing sugar. I don't think I'll use it all for this particular mix. And again, start to mix that through with the wooden spoon until it's all incorporated in. It really is quite thick. Uh, you will find that when you're icing uh, lines and designs, you really want quite a thick icing sugar. This is so easy to do by hand, it's uh, barely worth using a mixer as a lot of people do. Now you can see here it's lovely and thick, it's standing up now on the spoon, quite nice, that's ideal. There you have it, and I haven't used all the icing sugar, I've kept some of that aside. And uh, let's just cover it now with a little bit of cling wrap and get all the air out of it, because I won't be using this straight away, and that'll stop it from drying out. So guys, a little tip here, when you get round to icing, uh, when you're using the icing nozzles, they tend to dry out quite quickly. So take a little bit of damp kitchen towel and pop it in a glass. And when you finish between piping, just pop that, stand it up on the wet towel and that'll stop the icing nozzle from uh, drying out. And the right consistency should be able to pipe between two fingers like this and the icing line won't break. That's about ideal. Okay guys, well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you shortly in the next video. Now there's a link here for a couple of videos. There's the lovely chicken tikka omelette I made as part of the series of uh, three meals from one chicken. And there's a delicious sticky gooey cinnamon bun. So click on any of those videos if you like guys. And uh, as always there's the subscribe button there and I'd love to hear from you guys in comments down below. Take care and I'll see you shortly.